Man, that reminded me so much of the uh, the recent UFC fight between Zhang Wei Li and uh, Yuana Yen. How the heck do you say her mm. last name? Yet? JJ. Yen J Trick. Yeah. That's a mouthful. And Polish fans, sorry for pronouncing your, uh, your fighter's <laughs> name incorrectly once again. Anyway, Yuana and uh, Zhang Wei Li, the weigh-ins. That, that shocked a lot of people because uh, Yuana was getting up on her face, doing the whole trash talking mm, thing, trying to intimidate the, the, the her. big forehand. Oh yeah, but <laughs> even before that, like before the fight. Oh yeah. Did, did you see that? I the see. Weigh-ins? I see. There's really two very different fighters, very different personality, yeah. and very different culture. And Zhang Wei Li, she she does the palm fist salute. You yeah. Know, very respectful. If if you don't know what that means, it's a, it's essentially, well, I, I've looked up a number of uh, explanations of it. But essentially, it, people do this to say thank you. People do this to say I'm at your service. Yeah, respect. It's it's a sign of respect. Yeah. Like if a fighter walks into um, a ring, mm. Chinese fighters, they will, they will make this sign, the palm fist salute, mm. to the judges. They'll make it to the audience. Mm. They'll make it to their opponent. Um, she came from a martial mix, uh, a traditional martial arts. She yeah. trained uh, many traditional martial arts and. Um, um, she trained, I think, Ba uh, Gua Zhang, and she trained Tai Chi. She trained also Chinese uh, wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. So she she is really a uh, fostered by uh, tradition. Yeah. Yeah. Like when when I saw that way and I thought how how incredibly Chinese. What an incredibly Chinese reaction. Mm. Like she didn't allow herself to be, um, you know caught up in the moment of negativity instead it was just and then she she uttered in english shut up <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah. simply i really <laughs> love like, this oh, girl man, i really love this girl be- not only because she is from my home country she won the the battle and so on but also really i i love her um uh, mentality her yeah. her her style her style is a good role model style is I personal I like her style better than Joanna's style, a lot better, much better, because I think in the real, uh, the nowadays, uh, mixed martial arts industry uh, came a lot of like uh, Joanna. They talk a lot. Uh, actually, they're really good. They're really good fighter. I I yeah. I, I agree. They uh, the the fighting ability is uh, really really high, but. Uh, Zhang Wei Li not only bring a high fighting ability, but also a f- very high um, educated uh, style. Yeah. She she talk very calm. She uh, uh, she give everybody uh, 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 respect. She give everybody a, a hug after the training, after the the, the the fighting, and she never trash talk anyone. Uh, I think. It, this is the real, true uh, martial arts role model, should be. So, uh, in our gym, we we educate people also in that way. Not only training, but also educate people to be a humble guy. To be a, you don't need to be uh, aggressive uh, to be uh, to to beat people. <laughs> yeah, you can be humble and still you beat people. <laughs> so exactly, man. Exactly. <laughs> I I get this comment over and over on my YouTube channel. Like, uh, how are you a fighter? You're well spoken. You're polite. You're 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 smart. That doesn't compute. I'm like, how, how does it not compute? How, you mm. need to talk to more fighters. Like, there are a lot of fighters who are highly intelligent people, highly educated, well spoken, polite, nice to you. Oh yeah. In fact, I think. There are probably more professional fighters who are nice to other people than the <laughs> than uh, average people. Because mm. average people, like I said, overestimate themselves in a fight and, and are more willing to be confrontational with others. Whereas somebody who understands the ramifications of, of real violence mm. is going to be much less likely to engage in a fight for free. Mm. They're not going to look for trouble outside of the ring. I... I read the news uh, from yesterday. Uh, Zhang Wei Li's fought fight. Yeah. Um, there are different platform to 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 live sending the the fight. One is PPTV, and uh, okay. maybe there are many others. And PPTV paid UFC 
uh, 50 million yuan uh, a year. Really? Yeah, 50 million yuan per year for the UFC fights, all fights. And uh, that's the, the PPTB pay for UFC per year, 50 million. And only yesterday, PPTV got, uh, I think it's 400 million yeah. um, in, in. Oh, yeah. Because of the, 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 the Jungle the, Lee fight. Yeah, they oh, buy, wow. they bought uh, the, the, the pay-per-view. So not pay-per-view, actually. At the long-term investment yeah, here actually, it's not a pay-per-view, pay-per-month, pay-per-year. You pay 100 per year. Yeah, you pay hundred something like that. Then you can you can go into the uh, P PPTV to to see the whole year UFC. So it's a yearly subscription. Yeah. Okay. So everyone, almost everyone, paid per year yesterday, or maybe some. Oh, that is so interesting. So they they kind of had a slow rocky start. Yeah, they sold out four hundred four hundred million per day, based on this one fight. Wow. Only yesterday. So. It's a really big business. Yeah, this this fight answered a lot of questions. Like um, something I get asked a lot on um, YouTube from from the viewers is how big of a name is Zhang Weili in China? And I, I didn't know what to say because the sport of MMA is still very small. Very small. Yeah. It's a niche sport here in in China, but the fans are very dedicated. Like the fans absolutely know who she is, but the average person probably not. No. But 400 million. Yeah. That's that answer is a very important question there. Like yeah. is she a marketable commodity here in the People's Repu Republic of China? Absolutely, yes. Just give you a indicator. In my WeChat uh, uh, friends, <laughs> yeah. I um, I think roughly I have 50-50. Uh, 50 50% 50, 50 of my my friends who post Zhang Wei Li's fight yesterday yeah are not fighting fans oh interesting yeah if anyone doesn't know what wechat is wechat or weixin it's it's the most popular chinese social media accessible through your phone you can even there are computer apps as well but it's 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 everything in china everything everything media in china and people can say wechat is facebook plus twitter plus Instagram yeah, you, plus, plus you can pay your bills you can <laughs> shop yeah. you can use it as a for money mm -hmm. like everything everything you do through WeChat here so so 50% of those people who post ah oh, I, 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 I love Zhang Wei Li uh, it's a great fight those people I know they, they are my friends people who don't even watch UFC or, or watch they, this they thing. never train mixed martial arts they never touch martial arts so 50% coming from outside so wow. yeah roughly that is incredible. Mm. Let's talk about the actual fight. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, we, we, we can't put it up on the screen because of uh, copyright infringement laws and all that. But one thing I noticed that Zhang Wei Li did really, really well from round one all the way through the end was every time Joanna would throw a kick and, and she has this habit of ending combinations with, with a low kick, mm. which is very common from uh, fighters who train in like the Dutch kickboxing style. Uh, Zhang Weili would counter with a straight right, mm. which is such a such a simple counter. Yeah. But man, she landed so many of those. That's the reason it caused yeah. the forehand uh, oh, swallowing. Man. Yeah. Oh man, you want to look like an alien after that. <laughs> I mean, there <laughs> yeah. are so many memes sprouting up about that. I mean, I I, mm. I hate to bring that up because you know I've I've been disfigured after fights as well, and it it sucks. Nobody nobody likes that, but man. That was that was something to behold, mm, mm. and I—it's one of those fights where, if both fighters came through at the end without facial disfigurations, the audience might be arguing, "Oh, Joanna won." No, uh, Zhang Weili won. Uh, she got robbed. Whatever. But nobody's saying that because we can all clearly see. Yeah, one of these <laughs> definitely did more damage. Yeah, than the other. yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually. Um from my uh, perspective to seeing a, a mixed martial arts match is how many uh, different kind of technique uh, has been uh, used in this match. And I only, I almost only see, uh, I, I, we talk about Zhang Weili's fight. It's only yeah. kickboxing. It's only yeah, kickboxing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or we can say it's only Thai boxing. Sure. It's only stand up, uh, just a little bit grappling. 
Yeah, Which, Jung went for a few takedowns. Yeah, some takedowns, but not um, a lot of control on the ground. But she got the takedown, mm, so definitely so won over the judges. Even we, both you and me, we we love judo. We love judo. We we think judo is the, yeah. the, the 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 really fun training. Yeah, really funny, really yeah. good. But still, re yesterday fight, I I also take a. Carefully look about other fights. No, almost only one fight finishing by the choke, uh, the triangle, arm triangle uh. choke. Every other fight, there are really many fights, 20 fights, and only one judicial. Man, when you have a well rounded fighter, mm. a fighter who understands grappling and striking and every range of combat really well, they get to pick and choose where that fight ends up. Yeah. So, you know, in the case of, of Zhang Wei Li and, and Yuana, you know, both very skilled strikers, um, both very intermediate grapplers. Oh, yeah. I would say Jung has the edge in grappling, which she definitely demonstrated with her takedowns, mm. but not to the point where, where she was able to dominate on the ground. She's technique, maybe, I don't know. She's technique is okay, yeah. high level, but not very high. But she is strong. She, she is a work in progress in that regard. Yeah, yeah but she is strong, stronger than yeah. jo uh, Joanna. So yeah, that's, that's one of those fights people ask me for predictions beforehand, and I said, well, mm. <sighs> Yuana is a volume puncher. Like, mm. she generally throws like three or four hundred oh, significant yeah. strikes and lands them in every fight. But at the same time, she's generally not putting people away, generally not knocking them out. Mm. And so it's either going to be a very long decision with a lot of scrappy punches landed, or it's going to be a relatively short fight. Mm. On in favor of uh, of Jung Wei Li because man she is powerful for that weight class. Yeah, I think she can, if um, um, if we can give Jung Wei Li some uh, suggestion. I think she, of course, she has a really lot of good coaches, but I think Hear that Jung Wei Li, <laughs> we got some new coaches for you right here. But still, she's very good, and I see her standing up skills yeah uh, probably is uh, going to be uh, uh, how do you say standing uh, at that level she will have difficulty to to get, get up to the next level hmm. next level will be the world class the, the top top maybe Anderson Silva's level hmm. just can uh, pick the right timing and uh, knock you out and Zhang yeah. Wenli is still not there She's level yeah. is uh, not basing on the real counter. The counter here, she did very well. Well. Yeah, she played a very high risk game. Yeah. For example, uh, throwing the right hand after the, after the, le the leg kick. She ate a lot, a lot of those leg kicks, but dealt damage back in return. So it was like an exchange of damage. Mm. Whereas, like you said, with Anderson Silva, he was about avoiding the damage. Yeah. But sh uh, her wrestling can prove a lot. And her ground and pound can, her ground pound is already very very good. I, yeah. s I see a lot of his her fight, uh, but still I think because uh, her her length and height and uh, yeah. the, the 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 body type, so she can um, I think my my advice maybe she can stay in U.S. to to intensive improve the wrestling, oh, and yeah. then come back to China. She's already built like a grappler. Yeah. If if there is such a thing as that, which there kind of is. I mean, if you look at coll collegiate wrestlers, they have a certain look. Most of them. So. With some rare exceptions like Kyle Sanderson. Yeah, it would be very, very, very great if she can stay in U.S. a couple of months and only improve the ground and pound and wrestling part, because there in your country, really a lot of really, really high level grappler. Yeah. And uh, those people, they really can implement the, 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 the wrestling to MMA.